Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Ann Boyer and today we're going to be making salmon chowder. This is a chowder that I received the recipe from my dad who used to make it back in the 1970s, used to make this soup for the Lenten soup suppers at my hometown church. So the first thing we really need to do is talk about the salmon itself. The recipe calls for a can of either red or pink salmon and you open it up, put it on a plate, and then you have to pick out all of the bones and a little bit of skin that's in the can just so you receive the salmon itself. A lot of people aren't so sure about that, so what they do is, and what I'm going to do today, is I bought a piece of salmon from the grocery store and I broiled it with a little bit of Old Bay seasoning and some salt, maybe a little even honey, and I waited until it was firm enough and I took it out and I'm waiting for it to cool down so that I can flake it with a fork. So that's the um, salmon that we're going to use today. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to chop up some vegetables, and put them in the pot and cook them until they're translucent. So the first thing we're going to do is take three tablespoons of butter and let that melt. And then we're going to take a half a cup of chopped onion, throw that into the pot, a half a cup of chopped celery, a quarter cup of green onion, and then we're going to take one clove of garlic and add it to the pot. Stir it around a little bit. And let it go for about five to 10 minutes until the onions and the uh, celery and the green pepper are translucent. Now that the vegetables are translucent and look great, I'm going to add the next group of vegetables. The first thing is a cup of diced potatoes. and a cup of diced carrots. And then two cups of chicken broth. We're gonna season that with one and a half teaspoons of salt, three quarters of a teaspoon of the pepper, and a half a teaspoon of dill seed, or dill weed is what the front of it says. Okay, now we're going to simmer that for approximately 20 minutes. Turn up the heat a little bit. Stir it around. And we're gonna simmer it for about 20 minutes so that the carrots and the potatoes get soft. We're flaking this. We're getting quite a lot of nice salmon from this piece. And I laid it out on aluminum foil so that it's easy to pick up the skin that remains because we don't want that. So pick that up. And then we're just going to break this apart, mostly with our fingers and a fork, until it looks like this in small pieces. All right, next we're going to add the zucchini, and we do that at the end because we don't generally like it to cook too long, not like potatoes and carrots. So I'm going to add a half a cup of zucchini, chopped up zucchini. And that'll be in there for maybe five minutes before we finish the soup. The last part of the soup is we add a can, 12 ounce can of evaporated milk and a small can of cream style corn, not the kernel, but the cream style. And finally, all the salmon that we've chopped up, we'll slide it right into the soup. 
and finish it off with a little bit of parsley. And when we mix it up, it will be ready to serve. All right, we have the finished chowder. Spoon it into the... This will serve four people in a nice big bowl. And I generally make a double recipe because it will go into um, a container into the freezer and it freezes really well. And it'll keep quite a while in the freezer. So there you go. That's my salmon chowder. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.